What is up you guys, this is Mick with Fresh and Flea, and I'm back with a new video. So definitely this one is a weird one because I went to a place that I'm not familiar with and you never know what's gonna happen because of that. So luckily for me, I did use my game plan and it worked out in the end. So before we get in the video, a lot of people do ask me, do I sell my stuff? And yes, I do. Remember, link is down below. Do check out the Depop. And I, I do wanna thank all the customers out there. You guys have been killing it with the orders and I am catching up on them. And as well as that, if you guys are loving the videos, remember, do hit that like button. As well as that, hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and also hit that bell button if you wanna see when I upload immediately. Remember, class has ended. It's coming fast. What, am I keep talking? Uh-uh, let's get in the vid. Oh yeah, so you guys, we are here like always. Had a rocket. Check it out, come up on a couple Jordans, but I'm probably gonna leave them behind. These Olympic 7s right here. And look at the 10s, just beat up. Just really beat up. That is crazy. Is they're bringing this back, man? Is they're bringing this? Oh man, no. Yeah, they want nine bucks too. It's not bad, but still. Jeez. Look at the guy. Look at the guy. See some 90s up here. Check it out. Size eight. No tag means no sale. It's just the way this place is. Wanted to check the case, but they're blasting music over here. They're getting crazy over here. Straight up in the polo shirt. It's not even playing, man. Newer polo sport. See the rider. Looks decent. Seven bucks, though. What do you guys think, huh? Thermo vent. It says medium. Maybe. Just maybe. There's no stains. It's a plus. You guys, they are blasting music in here. It's crazy. <laughs> so crazy. You guys remember Captain EO, Michael Jackson, rest in peace. And you got, you got Dome over here. Oh, got a little vintage Adidas piece. Let's see the year. Oh, okay. White tag. Made in USA. Not too shabby. It's got that bling bling look to it. I don't know yet though. Four bucks. Could be a cop. hiding oh my gosh look at this I almost missed it because it's hanging like that check it out the polo XL it's got a little print here nice XL shorts see the R 21 I see it what they want Four bucks. Why not? Why not? It's cool. It's yummy. Me. I see it. I see it. I see it. See, you know me, checking in the linens like always. What am I gonna find if I'm gonna find anything at all? Roll the dice, like always. Roll of the dice. I just went through this kid section jackets and there's just nothing. I don't know about these pants, let alone that. Get into the sportswear and the t-shirts for the little kids. Yes, I do say a Kobe right here, but I have the same one already. It's a nice little baby pieces, nice little champion piece right here. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna pick it up. There's a baby behind me. Oh, no. Look at I see it already in here. Look. The baby bulls jersey in the number 23. Yes, Jordan himself. 
That is a beautiful piece. They are taxing a little bit, but hey, in this condition, I do not mind picking it up. That is awesome. See the numbers? Oh, look at the patch. This is like the same condition. The original one I ever found popped up. Almost the same price now. But that is amazing. That's going to be a pickup. Definitely. And I might as well look through the rest of the t-shirts and stuff for the children. You never know. Still looking for my uh, Power Ranger shirt that I had when I was back in the day. Eh? Dude, what, what fantastic child is going to be wearing this one? Look at this. Stacy Adams, man. Still doing it in style. I am checking on the other side now because nothing came out of those tees. And you guys don't know I'm here anyway, right? I might as well. I'm here at the spot. And I want to show you my friend. One of my best friends are here. I haven't seen him forever. What's up, man? How you doing? Long day, hasn't it been? I know that look. You need a Snickers. You're just not yourself. So I had to hit up another good way you guys already know. Uh, so I did come up on two pieces. It is the Home Movies T. Now if you guys have seen the show, this is a 2003 print. Look at him. Man, this is going back to pre-Arthur, man. And then you guys got, you guys know I was going to pick this one up. The Airwalk Made in USA T. Um, look at the print, front and back too. Farm Fresh, got the cracked eggs. A little hard boiled, and you flip it around to say Airwalk. Uh, super yoky. You know what that means. So let's get in the recap. Yes, I'm very surprised at what I found, but I'm happy to find it. So they were taxing a little bit on this one. Seven bucks for a newer Polo Sport Polo shirt, but it does have the thermo vent and it does have the nice spell out right in the uh, right side right there and it's got a little big rider uh, print on the left and again this thing is super clean like I said no stains no tears it's always a plus that's consistency I don't know what else it's been worn a little bit you can see where it's been uh, a little bit faded right here and it does say size medium nice piece if you're gonna go hit up the uh, tennis courts and I got you remember that's gonna be up on Depop Check it out. Now to that, these shorts I did pick up for four bucks. I was very happy to pick up. They are a size XL. Does say Polo Ralph Lauren. So that newer, newer Ralph Lauren. Uh, does have the R with, I'm thinking that's a panther, okay? I know this is a mountain lion. It's not a tiger, so you guys already know that. It does have the 21 right there. And it's not the cut styling on there, so. Like I said, they are very nice uh, polo shorts. The thing is, they don't even have pockets on the side. They actually have a hideaway pocket on the inside which was very interesting uh, when I first saw it. I was like, wow, these might go in the collection. I have to try them on, actually, I haven't. Sizing is XL and some XLs do fit, but I can see this waist is pretty big to begin with, so it might go up on site. I will have to check with that. It does have some elastic in the waist and also that pull string. It's already been tied, so I'll see with that too. But I was very happy to pick this up for four bucks. You guys already know. Polo for the win. Now onto that, this one's a special piece in my book. This one's gonna go in the collection because this was a TV show that I actually grew up on back from 99 into the early 2000s. That's what was crazy about this piece, I found it. But it's actually licensed 2003, which is crazy because that's pretty much the ending years of this show. And what it is is that on UPN, it first aired in 1999. Then it went over directly to Adult Swim. If you guys remember Adult Swim, uh, so many classic shows in there. And one was Home Movies. Now it basically surrounds this kid right here. This is Brendan Small and he's got two other friends and he loves making his home movies like it is. You guys can see right there, he's got a little video camera right in the back. Um, does have home movies. The thing is he has to deal with like pretty much adults in his life, right? And all his friends and all uh, whoever is there. But the crazy thing is H. John Benjamin is pretty funny because if you guys know uh, uh, Bob's Burgers, you know that classic voice. 
uh, he's, he was actually Brandon's coach in the show. And that's the very first time I ever heard that voice. And the thing is, ever since then, he's been that coach to me. If you guys haven't seen it, he's also in the new Arby's commercial. That's him, the head chef. Uh, that is talking about all the yummy food. So I picked this one for $1.99, and when it's a piece that actually hits home to me, mm -mm, no question. So I love this piece, actually. I picked these two up, the Home Movies tee and the Airwalk tee. As yes, you guys can see right in the front, does have Airwalk with the cracked eggshells and a little bit of yokiness going on. And look on the back here, it does have the cracked egg, it does say Airwalk. And Airwalk is a brand that a lot of people know today is kind of, mm, that's what it is, okay? Now, a little backstory on Airwalk. It came in the mix in 1986, and George Young and Bill Mann pretty much uh, put in forth to make a sh quality shoe for skateboarders. And, you know, going through that whole thing in the history about Airwalk is that com considering what it is today, considering what it was before, is it's just crazy. And you think about it, they had big names on it. They had Tony Hawk, they had Christian Asoy, Mike McGill, just to name a few into the 90s into the 2000s you know they had uh pat duffy they had jason lee on there eric costin steve barra uh andrew reynolds oh my gosh the, the list is endless when you think about how much airwalk actually did for the skateboarding community it's very sad what ended up happening you know later on i mean i'm not to say that uh it's mostly it's mostly their cred they're kind of like lowered, you know, the cheaper shoes, the whatever. Everyone goes, into, what is it, whack or something like that. That's all I got to say. I mean, a lot of people need to ha have brand recognition in a way that you got to also appreciate the other brands that paved the way for the brands that you know today. And that's the thing is, this Airwalk tee is so sick. It is a made in USA, older um, Airwalk tee. And you guys can see this tag right here. Look how thick this tag is. It's coming from a different, you know, that's the thing. I was super happy to pay $1.99 for something that is pretty much skateboarding history. Like I said gotta love it last but not least and i'm gonna say the cop of the day you guys already know why it is a i said the baby jordan okay champion jersey i mean champion jerseys alone are sick to come up on i only came up on one other jordan jersey and it pretty much was in the same condition just insane no cracking that's the thing look at this this one's a does it say right there right this is an m 10 to 12 it does have the nice print in there again no cracking uh, the champion logo uh, patch as well as the NBA patch just looks amazing. I can't even tell you the back or I got to show you it. Look at this right here. Jordan 23. Again, no cracking. Where has this been? You know, where, where have you been? You know, tell me. Gotta know. Uh, I did pick it up for $8.99. Again, it's, it's pretty steep, but considering resale value on this thing, every time I find these at the swap meet, um, it's mostly at the swap meet. I just don't pick them up because they're charging way too much for it. So in my case, if this is going into like a nice little wall hanger, or if I'm going to sell it, uh, I'm happy to pay $8.99. I, I, I very am. And the thing is, I found this in the wild. Something about finding pieces myself means so much more to me. They just really do. And you guys can see right there, it has the nice cleaning tag in the Made in USA tag is right here so i'm very happy with that one i didn't see that one uh, the other day but that is just crazy man this thing is in amazing condition this they did have the kobe one and i did pick up that kobe one before i have one in the collection i just have it because there's nothing else to pick up and i did pick that one up so this one i was just happy about like i said gotta love no tears thrift gods coming through like always yes i want to thank you for watching you guys it was awesome again going to a spot that i'm not familiar with and coming up Pretty much it's crazy because i go into these spots and i see regulars you gotta know they must know where the stuff is sometimes and they're skimming they are really skimming through there they're just not taking the time to really search and this is why i come up search 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 put the work in <laughs> what else can i say i'm gonna slow it down for you guys hit that sub button because more videos are coming this was mick from fresh from the fleet